Medications, uh, again, serotonin medicines that we talked about already again, these things can help. They take a while to work. Again, it's not like something you take and bam, it's effective the next day and you can walk out and be social and have no problems. This is something that just sort of eases the anxiety slowly as time goes on, and it can help, with, especially if it's used with the therapy. Uh, benzodiazepines can help, but they're, they're problematic. And again, with any of these anxiety disorders, they're, they work quickly, and that's sort of the problem. I mean, if I'm trying to teach somebody that going into this place is not dangerous, but yet I'm giving them Xanax because if they go in, I'm afraid they might have an anxiety attack or they might get anxious. That's sort of, that's still sending them the message that it's dangerous, right? That I don't want them to have anxiety because it's dangerous. Well, it's not dangerous. I mean, it's, you gotta get through it. So it's uncomfortable, but you gotta get through it. I think sometimes the, the benzodiazepines, they have their place for sure and, and certainly uh, uh, are okay to use. A lot of doctors use them, but, uh, but I think sometimes they interfere with the, the sort of longer term treatment of these things. Um, any questions about social phobia? Yeah, absolutely. Does everyone that um, has social phobia, I mean, is it all based on fear of embarrassment or, I mean, could it be just fear of being in public or being around people they don't know? It's a fear. There's different kinds of fear of being in public. It's a good question, by the way. Let me try to repeat it. It, the question is, is the fear with social phobia always uh, a fear of being embarrassed or, or something like that happening? Or is it, or is it just an uh, anxiety about being around people they don't know? Does that summarize what you said? Um, I would say for the, for the most part, it's a, it's a fear of being judged or, or evaluated negatively in some way. You know, somebody looking at you and, say, uh, and thinking something bad of you, you know. Um, Mike went out on me, I guess. Without it, is it back? There we go. Um, I've seen all different things though in, in real life. You know, I've had patients come in and, and, and you know, well, you've heard of agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is where you get into a crowded place. It's usually it's a crowded place, and and, it's, and getting out is not so easy. So a crowded mall or a crowded store, like we were talking about, you know, something like that, um, and then you can't, and then you feel like you feel like you can't get out. You know, that's a that's agoraphobia. Um, this is more like the the social thing. You know, it's like it could be three people. It doesn't have to be a big crowd of place. It could be you know three people that you don't know very well, and you're getting, and you're ner and you're nervous around them. Um, I've had other people that I that I've seen before come and tell me, you know, it's not so much an anxiety. It's more of an anger situation. Like they go into this place and they see these people and they think, oh, what a bunch of stupid people, and it's anger. You know, and uh, you know that's got a whole nother. That's probably some. That's probably you know narcissism or some other kind of thing, or, or anger issues from some other thing, depression, whatever. Um, but social phobia usually is strictly a, a fear or, uh, or an anxiety of being in a social situation with people you don't know and, and worrying about what they might think of you and that kind of stuff. Does that answer that? Yeah. At least best I can, anyway. You know, there's there's no absolutes with these things. That's the problem. I know someone that. Uh, Associate with social phobia, but I mean, as far as being a, the fear of embarrassments that ever come up or anything of that sort, but they can't handle going out in public even in small crowds. Oh yeah, you know they may not want to talk about it much, you know, because they, they you're right, yeah. I mean, people. Well, again, this is sort of the point of my talks is that hopefully you know, people start to understand these things. They don't think they're so wacko or you know whatever, and they they can talk about them a little more. But I mean, it may be that he's, he or she is just uh, as intimidated by you as they might be by other people, so he's, he or she's afraid of, of confiding in you that that's what the fear is, you know? Could be that, or it could be that it's, not, that it's something else, you know? And it just presents this way, it looks like this. But, you know, without asking him, I guess you wouldn't know. You might, you, I don't know, if you're close enough to ask him or not. But yeah, could, but it's just a really touchy subject. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, and the other thing to think about is, and this next uh, this next type of anxiety we're going to talk about has to do with this. 